I am talking to a camera right now that may never be heard by anybody, but this is just in case anything might have happened to me, and I just want to be able to document exactly how I felt before I went on this journey because I have a really wild journey ahead of me, and anybody that is watching this, if anybody is watching this, uh, just know that I do not want you to be upset. And I don't want anybody being upset because I knew exactly what I was getting myself into. And I am more than proud of my future self. What are you doing, bro? What do you mean, what am I doing? We're going in. This isn't smart, dude, at all. We don't know what we're up against. And you got the only gun. Come on, there's a bunch of them. Just oh my God, you're lucky I got your back, dude. What are you at? What are you at? What are you at? Oh, oh, shit. Oh, 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 oh. I'm not gonna listen. I'm not gonna kill you, and I know you're not gonna kill me. You don't even have any ammo in that gun. You don't even have any ammo. Just put it down. You Satanists are. You're not gonna shoot me with a bullet. Torture me all you want. You ain't shooting me. I made an oath to myself that I will not live my entire life in silence and act like this world is not evil when it is. I have way too much love and way too much passion in my heart to just sit here and live my whole life in a lie. So I've decided in life or death, no matter what happens to me, I will be sacrificing my own safety to bring the world a little bit more light. How does it feel? Beat down for no good reason. All your made up dreams are failing right before your eyes. And you can't do anything about it besides sit there and. So, to my future self, if you feel that you should not be alive and you are a dead man walking, just know that there is no such thing as failure unless you give up. Even if there is less than a 1% chance that you are going to achieve something, less than 1%, there is still no such thing as failure unless you give up yourself. You have the say whether the flame is put out or whether the flame is still lit. You put out your own flame by giving up. So whatever you do, no matter how far something may seem or how difficult a task may feel, as long as you keep that flame lit, as long as you keep that very, very, very slight chance of hope, then you can still achieve your goals and you will never fail. Your generation could never understand good from evil. They are pawns. So why do you find yourself on your knees bleeding for these pawns? Why would you waste such talented and passionate energy on useless pawns that will eventually go against you anyways? Dead or alive, I am unbelievably proud of my future self for who you have become. So anybody watching this, please do not be upset and use this to inspire your, yourself to chase your dreams. Just chase them down until they get tired of running from you. Paul. Paul, wake up, you bitch. Ugh. Paul, wake up, you bitch. Jake, do me a favor and keep your heart pure. Keep your vision straight. And, and keep faith in everything that you believe in. Especially the ones around you. Because they believe in you too. Fuck! Paul, wake the fuck up! Ah, uh, 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 fuck! Ah, uh, fuck. Uh. Uh. Hey, 
Paul, you done with your nap yet or what? We're in some deep shit. The only reason why we haven't killed you yet is because one, oh. nobody is going to believe you. And two, you're just a little too old for our liking. We like anything under about, you know, 16. <laughs> Your words are useless, and the dream you chose to chase is a failure. Hey, you gonna tell me where my fiance is? <clears throat> you guys don't fucking talk or what? You were real chatty before. <laughs> Damn, you fucking hit like a bitch! <clears throat> oh. Hey Paul, anytime's a good time for you to wake up from your little nap. <clears throat> to anybody viewing this footage that is not Jake, if there is anybody, this footage is not to be released to anybody unless my future self says otherwise. I love you guys to death. Deuces. Take it out on me. Please take it out on me. Let Paulie walk. Bring my fiance back home. Just take everything out on me. Jeez, Jay. Oh, oh, come on. Where's your car? Jay, come on. Let's go. Just, just go. Where's our car? Just get him to the car. Right, get him into the back of the car. I'm going in the front seat, Anthony. Where's our car? Anthony, the car, the car is up there. Drive straight. Oh, fuck my head, dude. Jake, hang in there, buddy. Oh, You're all right. Where's our car? Just, just hang tight, buddy. Just go. Just sit back. Oh, God no. damn it. Oh. No, we're not. No. Anthony, the hey. car should be coming up. Oh, there it is. Hey, right drive. There. Hey, don't go to it. Drive. Leave Why? it there. What's the matter with it? Leave oh, it there for now. Go, the we're going. Just go. Oh, the just go. Just go. Just go. I can't. It has no tire. Oh, where are we going? Go to uh, Hell's Gates. What? Go what to Hell's. Go to it? Hell's Gates now. Do you fucking hear this kid, Anthony? I don't Dude, mean. fuck you, my. I can't even feel my mouth. Where I can't talk. What's go to Hell's Gates. There. That's where Ashley is. They said she's too old for. Sacrificing the only other spot is oh god the hell's gates. It's how they're trying to sell her soul They're trying god to get her damn. in that shit. She's too old for sacrifice. Only other spots hell gates go All right, Hurry some get right, there whatever. We'll get The gates of hell are various places on the surface of the world that have acquired a legendary reputation for being entrances to the underworld often they are found in regions of unusual geological activity, particularly volcanic areas, or sometimes at lakes, caves, or mountains. Many groups perform satanic rituals at these locations, and deals with the devil are signed here. In other words, selling your soul to the evil and becoming part of a cult ran by the devil himself. No one should ever dare to come to the gates of hell without expecting to be lured into eternity of darkness. Be careful, bro. I don't know where the fuck I'm going, dude. The fucking shit, I do it for you. Where are you going? 
Just keep going straight. Go straight down there and then to the left. Be careful, bro. Oh, God, Hurry up. I can't really see it. I got all this blood on my face. Fucked up. Well, you should have wiped it off. It's, it's still left over there. Oh, this is how gates, I don't know. No, this is. This is part of it, but watch out. This part of the these, these are part of the tunnels, but this is like not exactly, I think, where the worshiping happens. Where the worshiping happens is, or not the worshiping, the is over there. That's where the selling every, everybody's souls and stuff are. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that way. But I don't know if that's exactly where they want to go. There's a, there's clothes hanging from that branch though, right there. Holy shit, there is. So that's You're pretty creepy. There's a ladder here. I don't think this is the one. Should I, should I go down there and check it out? Let's go this way first. I'm almost positive that this is not going to be the one because where they sell souls is over on this side over here. So go ahead. Here I'll go. There's a ladder over there. Where? There's a ladder on the other side. The camera can't see it because the light's not going far enough. But these we have to go around. Yep. Just follow me. There's a little trail. Just be very careful, bro. Yeah. <sighs> the way down is really, really steep, y'all. Like, it's bad. Oh, there's a tree. Dude, it's blocking our entrance. We're going to try to go around again. We're going to have to go in the other way. What? We're going to have to go in the other way. No, nah, the only way is around this. Really? Yeah. That sucks. Let's see if we can squeeze through. Ah. Wait a minute. Yeah, we're good. We're good. You good? Yeah. Keep coming through here. Ah. God damn it. These these assholes better be here. Is all I know. Ah. Ah. Yeah, we're good. Once you get through that, you're good. We're golden. <sighs> Wait. <sighs> I feel dizzy, but I'm not worried about that right now. Just want to get here. Yeah. Yo. Is anybody here? It's a bad idea, dude. Is anybody down there? That's where they sell their souls. Right down there in that tunnel. Look. Even got a ladder that says 666 on it. Oh, man. We've come way too far or not. What is that? There's a red light over there. Yeah. It's like a red light right there. Where we just came from. There is. What the hell? All right, bro. I don't want to waste any more time. Let's just go. What the hell? Yo, what the hell? I thought this train was out of station, like out of, out of business. The only thing we do now is walk down there and hopefully we find some. Jake, this is a really bad idea, bro. Yo, anybody here? Hey, yeah, honestly, just give me the... Here. Yo! I don't see anything. This goes, what? We're here for a reason. We gotta go down there regardless. Oh, look. What? Yo. Oh. I'm not here to fight with you guys. I'm here to reason because I really I really believe that no one is going to evil. I don't think you are evil. 
I know something has caused you to be this angry, and I understand your pain. Trust me. I couldn't imagine how hard it was for you to go through whatever you went through that made you turn your back on all of your people. You once had a dream. You had a goal just like me. You had purpose, and you were put here to help this world on whatever path you saw in front of you. But now, now you are just giving the very same pain you couldn't accept. You're giving it to other people. If you lost the people closest to you, and that's the reason for this, taking other people's loved ones isn't going to fill that hole in your heart. It will not cure your anger. The vengeance you seek will only trigger more vengeance in the long run. And you'll catch yourself in a loop of angry, depressed, evil lifestyle. You are taking the very person closest to me because you want me to feel your pain, right? Well, I do. I already do feel your pain. I've already lost all of the people closest to me and Ashley is one of the few still left. The difference is I never sacrificed the people I lost. It was all taken from me. I know the pain you feel in your heart and I've learned that you cannot cure that pain until you learn to accept that pain. All the ones I've lost along the way, they are all still here and they still live on. They may be dead, but they still live on. That's because they entrusted themselves with me. I carry the dreams and ambitions of all the ones that I lost along the way. And I promise them, I will not hold. That is why I'm here today, not because I want to start a war and not because I want to kill anyone. I want to tell you that the kid you once were with the dream and with the goals of being a superhero is still in your heart. You gotta look deep and you can help stop this ongoing cycle of hate by living in the very goddamn moment. Just live in the moment right now is what matters. Not what you did previously, but what you do exactly right now and allowing Ashley to live. Anything you have done in the past will not be erased. But at this very moment, you can rewrite your future. And that is never too late to do. So please, Your song for 